Hello guys, in this video I want to talk about a really cool lens, this company, this is Ceroe. They've previously released uh, a really good lens, which is this one. It was a 50mm f1.8 and it was the first ever on the market affordable true anamorphic lens. Well now they followed up uh, their successful lens with this baby, this is the 35mm also f1.8. And if you're wondering how does it compare to the, the 50 millimeter, the previous version, uh, it is just as good, if maybe not even better. <laughs> I would say maybe even slightly better than the 50 millimeter version, even though this was already really good. Uh, what I mean by that is that the flares are there if you really point it at, you know, like a really strong light source, uh, but they're a little bit um, kind of, I would say, more organic looking. And especially when you have the lens, uh, you know, off to the side a little bit from the main light source and you just have the kind of the, the light kind of hitting the, the front of the lens at an angle, you're going to get these nice little glows and, and these kind of blooming effects uh, within this lens. So. Uh, personally, I think that looks really nice, looks very cinematic, very organic. And again, if you're going to compare this to any other standard anamorphic lens on the market, these lenses are tiny. So really, if you want to get into anamorphics, you're not going to find anything else out there that's this small and in this light. Now, actually, this whole video you're watching right now is also shot on the 35mm f1.8 anamorphic lens from Ceroe. And that's because I have it mounted there uh, on my packet 4K camera. And that one, of course, is a Micro Four Thirds uh, version. This one is an E-mount version. But again, doesn't matter which version you pick, they're identical in the way that they're built. The only difference is on the back, uh, obviously, the mount. So in short, the 35 millimeter lens from Ceroe, just as their previous 50 millimeter lens, I think are a great way to get into anamorphics if you're interested in that kind of stuff. This lens is nice and sharp, again, the same as the 50 millimeter version, uh, which is something that's very hard to find on most anamorphic lenses. It creates a nice clean image, uh, even though at the same time it also gives you slightly more organic looking flares and also flares that I think are a little bit more subtle uh, than maybe the 50 millimeter version. Uh, Overall, I've loved shooting with this lens, so if you're wondering if you should grab this one uh, and, for example, maybe you already own the 50mm version and you like it, well, you're gonna love this one. Now, if you haven't actually tried any of the lenses from Ceroe, then definitely give this one or the 50mm version a try uh, and you will not be disappointed, especially, like I said, if you're looking for those more cinematic looking images. Anyways, my name is Tom Antos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!